Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Guys, there's a new way to support the channel. It's called the uh, Super Thanks button. So if you want to support the channel, check it out. Um, guys, this reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's get into the energy for Leo. Then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance. For Leo. What's going on for Leo? I have, we have a tower moment here with your two of cups, and it's a decision. Mm, it's juggling an option. Okay. Okay. So. Leo, there's a tower moment here because somebody who felt like was your person was juggling an option. So if you're dating somebody and you think that this person is right for you, this person has options, okay? And they were juggling them. So let's get into the energy of all 12 signs around Leo, starting with Aries. You're dealing with an Aries. Someone is strategic about working on a situation that needs healed. So Aries is really being strategic about working on a situation. If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody is taking a leap of faith to, towards their wish fulfillment, uh, but they're very trapped in their head about it. They can't get this person out of their head, so they got to move forward with it. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they want to offer their cup in a relationship. They want to be with you. They want to be with you in a relationship. Um, but there's a lot of drama. They feel like there, there's some jealousy or there's some strife. There's drama here. Um, but they want to be with you in a relationship, but there's strife, jealousy, and competition around. You're dealing with a Cancer. King of Cups. Four of Swords wanting to heal. Mastering their emotions, watching, spying, wanting to heal a situation. If you're dealing with a Leo, Leo's got burdens and they're seeing something from a different perspective about a new passionate beginning. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Virgo needs strength in a family situation to reconcile. If you're dealing with a Libra, you have the emperor and something hidden. I feel like this person's hiding their emotions. They're waiting. They're hiding their emotions. Uh, something. They're waiting for something hidden. Emperor energy. I feel like this is strong emotions. I don't feel like the emperor doesn't have secrets at this point. When they're in the emperor's, the emperor's, you know, they're not a king. They're now an emperor. Um, they take control of the situation. They, they don't. They don't have stuff that they hide and secrets and games and all that nonsense. So this is emotions. This emotions, this is waiting um, very secretly, uh, like w secretly, could be secretly waiting. Somebody could be secretly waiting for their emperor. They're not telling anybody. Um, so that's what I'm feeling there. Somebody secretly waiting for their emperor. If you're dealing with, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, someone's guarded and defensive about the deception with a choice between two. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, somebody from the past wants a victory in a missed opportunity. So they feel like they want they want to, to win. They feel like they they may have missed an opportunity, but they want a victory here. So they're coming back. They're they're not going to let this be a missed opportunity. They, I feel like this is an opportunity that they want a victory in and this is somebody from the past is coming back around. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody's out in the cold because of a third party. And I feel like they could get an offer or an apology. I feel like it's apology. Somebody's out in the cold getting an, uh, an apology for a third party. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, you have the preemptress making a decision to cut something out to have a new beginning in love. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces um, is very anxious and having some regrets or missing somebody. Yeah, there's no equal give and take here. 
there may be some regret someone feels very anxious about that they're regretting something where they didn't give equally or they didn't give enough to the situation. That's what they're, they're having regrets and anxiety about. They didn't give enough to the situation. And you feel like in this case that your two of cups may have juggled an option and it's causing a tower moment for you, Leo. Let's get into this and see what's going on. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? Okay, there's a relationship where someone has regrets and somebody's kind of guarded and defensive and wanting the truth. King of, um, this is Leo energy. Something that's hidden. Whatever is hidden, okay, somebody's not speaking. They want to move forward. There's a truth being spoken, harsh truth possibly. Um, now, it's a, it's a truth being spoken about trying to heal a situation. Somebody's being at a crossroads about walking away. Queen of Swords, Empress Energy. Taking the leap of faith. The devil. The ten of coin. Queen of staffs. Oh, okay. Under the bottom of the deck, you are manifesting something here. So I feel like... I feel like for you, you may be obsessed with something long-term and committed. I don't feel like it's toxic. I feel like you could be obsessed by having something long-term and committed. Um, Leo, I feel like that's what you want. You're obsessed with being married. You're obsessed with be having something committed. You don't want, you don't want just, you know, a little here, a little there. You don't want that. You want a relationship, right? You want the relationship. So you're waiting for a relationship. Somebody is regretting something from the past. They're a little guarded and defensive. They want to communicate. They want to speak the truth about trying to win at all costs, playing mind games. Um, I feel like King of Staff, Emperor Energy. This is your emperor. This is the emperor. And what, what's hidden here? So there could have been a family situation. They, they probably didn't speak about or you didn't know about. There were secrets in a family situation or a secret, a secret family. It could be, it could be either or whatever this is, that this is something hidden about a family situation and not speaking about it, right? Not speaking about the deception, right? Just moving on, right? Moving on. Now there's going to be communication and they want to come in and tell you the truth about whatever these options were. Um, and it's been a long time coming. This The healing has been a long time coming. You may have been waiting for this person for a very long time. They're at a crossroads, being strategic, not showing emotion, about walking away. They're holding, holding on or holding back from walking away, but they're watching. They're watching. So this person's, will I stay or will I go? That's their tone here. Uh, you may not have spoken to this person for a long time because they may have been in another family situation. They may have been with somebody else for a long time, um, but there's a healing that needs to take place here. There's a queen of swords, there's an empress and somebody taking a leap of faith to work on something. They want to rush into a, a they want to rush in and speak a truth about something long-term and committed and having a new beginning. So this person wants to work on their communication or work on the truth. They want something long-term and committed and a new beginning. I feel like you are obsessed with having something long-term and committed, but there's a lot of strife, jealousy, and competition, and somebody's at a crossroads about a third party, and it's causing a tower moment about moving forward. Under the bottom of the deck, there's a new beginning in love in a relationship and somebody's going to speak the truth and move forward, right? Again, with this, you have two people here. You do have two people. You have a queen of swords and you have an empress. And I feel like there's two people here, not just one. And somebody wanting to take the leap of faith. Somebody's working on a harsh truth or working on speaking a harsh truth. 
um, has to do with something long-term and committed and a new beginning. I want to get more clarity on that. Wanting to rush towards somebody very guarded and defensive. King of Wands. Wanting to see things from a different perspective about this choice between two. Wants to heal and reconcile and offer their cup. So in this case, I feel like they're rushing towards you. Uh, in this case, Leo. Healing. Somebody wants to heal a situation and transform it. Trust. And closure. So I feel like there's a reconciliation here for sure. So, you know, you do have somebody who's coming to heal a situation and transform it by reconciling it and give you some kind of closure for what happened in the past. That's the closure. It's what happened in the past is what you're getting closure for. There's going to be communication. That's going to transform something. It's going, the, the metamorphosis of the grief uh, and settling. Yeah. Pause. You're thinking about it. You got to raise your vibration, divine feminine energy. I feel like communication is going to transform the grief. Okay. Uh, that this person may have settled. And now. They need to take, like, they need to pause. They need to reevaluate, right? Raise their vibration because you're their empress. They have some regrets. Children may have been involved, but this is new love. This is a new love or recommitment to love is developing. It is a spiritual lesson. This person is your in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Something needs to balance here uh, with this soulmate. Something needs you need to find some balance. And apology is under the bottom of the deck as well. So this person may be leaving one situation to come back um, because this is their divine feminine energy. So they're coming back. They're going to be coming back and, and trying to fix, repair, whatever. Again, the choice is up to you. So be prepared. We are in retrograde because there is a return coming. So guys, that's all I have for you. I'm going to take this to the extended and get you more clarity. So if this resonates, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.